All right. Can everyone come over this way for me? All right. Before we get started into our rhythm, I need a volunteer to help me with a little bit of a warm-up activity before we get started. All right, Robbie, you and I are going to be partners. All right. What's going to happen is we're going to get in a push-up position. And the object is, you're going to say, oh, we need to close. yeah, be close. Okay. The object is to get a point, right? So by getting a point, you got to try and touch each other's hand. So Robbie, go ahead. Robbie has a point. I have a point. I have a point. I have a point. Robbie, got it. There you go. Go ahead, Robbie. Well played, and so forth, all right? So that's just going to work on our upper body strength a little bit. So if you can go find a partner, and when we're all ready, we can get started. Go. All right, ready? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one thing. If you need a break, you guys can go down to one, one knee and we're Shake it out a little bit and then get back up into your push up position. Okay? Ready? Go. <clears throat> so, Matt, you're just getting up in a push up position, and the object to, is to get a point, and you're going to get a point by trying to touch Hannah's hand. Oh, we got to be a little quicker. There we go, Nick. All right, and freeze. You guys can stand up, and if you could spread out and with your arms out, make sure we're not touching anyone. All right, we're going to get a little stretchy in before we get into our instruments, so everyone can just do nice big arm circles, nice and slow. And we can go big reverse. And then forward small. Then reverse. All right, and let's bring our right arm across our body. All right, and then let's bring our left arm around our body. All right, let's bring our right arm back behind our heads. Our left arm. All right, and then let's just move our hips back in a circle forward or clockwise rotation. There we go. And go the other way. All right, let's come to the middle and let's bring our right foot out and point our toe to the sky and reach down. Should feel it in your hamstring. All right, switch. All right, let's come up. Let's do our right leg, pull it back. This will be our last one. Switch. Nine, 10, All right, and come back down. So today we are gonna be working on our rhythm a little bit with our maracas, our triangle, and our tambourine. So our outcome for today is you should be able to differentiate between fast and slow within the beats. So before we get started, I'm just gonna play 
at our tempo for what each one should be. So this is our tambourine. It's our tambourine. And then our baby triangle, which is quite quiet. You're kidding. There you go. All right, and then our last one is our maracas. All right, so we're going to start with our drums. So what I need you all to do is lay down on your back for me. So what's going to happen is I'm going to play an eight count, which will sound like this. And within that, on that eight count, you're going to be stretching your body like we are just getting out of bed. So go ahead and practice that for me before we get started. Yep. All right. So now that we have practiced that, I'm going to do it on our eight count. All right. All right. One more time. Let's get back to our star positions. All right. Now that's our baseline one. I'm going to try and go faster now. All right. So let's get back into our starting spots. All right, and one more time. Remember, now that it's a faster beat, we should be waking up much quicker than our original one, all right? All right, now we're going to move on to our triangle. Now I need everyone to stand up. What you're gonna do this time is on each triangle tap you hear, you're gonna take one giant step, you could take a giant hop, or you could take a giant jump. It is up to you, okay? And you guys can do that moving around as well since it's a locomotive movement, all right? All right, we're gonna do it another eight count at a slow tempo. All right, now we're gonna go backwards on the eight count, okay? So make sure you know where you're at and you're not running into anyone. All right, now we're gonna do that all again, but we're gonna go a little faster, okay? So this time we're going forward at a faster tempo. All right, and now we're going backwards. All right, that was our triangle. So now let's get back to where we started at. So make sure you have space between you. These are our maracas. So what I'm gonna have you do is in place, you're gonna run at a, just a nice easy pace, okay? So it's going to be slow. Ready? All right. Now we're going to speed it up a little bit, okay? Same thing. All right. So now we're going to combine them two, and I'm going to go fast or slow, and you have to try to match the tempo as I'm changing, but we're not gonna stop in between, okay? All right, that was our maracas. So our next thing is we're gonna go back to our drums. 
So this time we're going to stay on the same eight count, varying fast and slow. But this time I want you guys to leap, hop, or jump. So leap, hop, or jump around in our activity zone, which is the green squares. And when I stop the eight count, I want you to freeze in any position it is. So you can make a T, you can make a Y, you can make a C, you can make a U, if you will. But that's what I want you guys to do. So we're going to work on our stopping, start and stopping. All right. Anyone have any questions? Nope. All right. I think we can be a little quicker when we do our freezing, but also remember you guys can hop and jump. It doesn't just have to be leaps, okay? Nice. There you go. There you go. Now I'm going to go fast. So we got to pick up our speed a little bit when we're doing our locomotor movements. Ready? There we go. Nice. Last one. And now we're going to go slow this time. There you go. Try to go faster when we're freezing and making our shape, okay? Much better. All right, last one. Nice. Now, instead of an eight count, we're going to do a six count. So what it sounds like is. All right, so we're going to do the same thing, hop, leap, or jump, but it's just going to be at a six count now. And let's try to remember to freeze quickly and make our shape, okay? Ready? There we go. Nice. Nice. All right, and last one for the six count. All right, and now we're going to do a four count, but it's going to be quicker this time, okay? And last one. All right, and for our last one, we're going to do a two count, and this has got to be really quick, so you guys got to be quick with it, okay? Ready? Nice. All right, now we are gonna switch to the triangle. So what I'm gonna need you guys to do is sit on the floor. All right, so when we sit on the floor, when we do the beat, we are going to start slow. So when I hit the triangle, we're gonna move in a small arm circles forward until the, you don't hear the triangle anymore, okay? All right, and last one. All 
right, and now we're going to pick it up a little bit this time on the eight count, okay? Let's go backwards this time. Last one. Okay. And just like our tambourine, we're going to do a six count now. Now it's a four count. And then a two count. Okay, now I need everyone to stand up. Now, instead of just moving our arms in a forward or backward motion, we're gonna add a step or two into it. So however many triangle taps you hear is how many steps you're gonna take, okay? Go, Matt. Yeah. All right, and everyone can free, freeze for me. All right, we are now moving on to the maracas. So we all can spread out, make sure we're not near anyone. All right, for the maracas, we're gonna start with our arms. Okay, so when I hit the maracas lightly, we're just gonna move our fingers. And as the eight count goes, we're gonna have it going up our arms and our shoulders to our head. Does that make sense? So it could be like this, and then getting up into our head. And then we'll work on lower parts of the body. All right? So remember, we're gonna work on our eight count first. Don't forget to move up your arms too and into your head, okay? Okay, now we're going to pick it up a little bit. Oop. All right, now we're moving on to our lower part. So we're going to wiggle our toes and our, and our foot and then eventually moving up to our leg and our hips. Okay? Okay, now we're going to speed it up a little bit for our lower body. Nice try. Nice try. All right, our last one. All right, so now I want you to do your whole body. So as it speeds up, you're moving up your body, and as it slows down, you're going to wiggle back down your body. Okay? Yes. 
just so for this originally the first one you just start your toes and work up but now it's going to be all of your lower body so your hands are kind of dangle low so you're going to wiggle your feet and toes and as you come up when it's fast you move your head and as you go we slow down it's moving your head less and then moving your lower extremities more Does that make sense okay ready Remember, this is the top of your body, right? It's, I'm sorry, the lower part of your body. We should be moving up because it's taking up. Now we should be at the top of our body because it's fast. Moving down our body now. All right, and last one. All right, what I need is everyone to get in groups of three. Doesn't matter who you're with. I'm sorry, groups of four, eight, 12. I'm sorry, should just be three groups. Yeah, that's fine. All right, for this part, everyone is going to go either to a maraca, one group at each instrument, you were to come up with a dance. It doesn't matter what the dance moves are. However, you have to play these during the dance, and it needs to focus on varying our how fast we're moving and how slow we're moving. That's what we've been working on, okay? So you all can go to any instrument if there's not a group already there, and then you can work on a dance. I'll give you all a few minutes to do that. So we just eight count? Yep, I'll, I'll do the eight count for you guys. You just got to come up with a dance that's fast. And then when I change to slow. You should have a fast and then a slow movement to go with Different it. Ones? Different ones, yep. Because okay. I'll do the eight count, so it should be. When I go fast, you should have something for fast and then an eight count for slow. Are you guys okay? So it should be, I'm going to do an eight count. A fast, so it doesn't matter what you're doing. It's just got to be so fast. Yeah. Oh, and then when I do it, you can do it. That's fine. No, no, no. I'll, All right. And then know. when I do an eight count slow, you shouldn't be moving slow. Okay. All right, about 30 seconds. Yes, Trey. It should be two different ones. One for a fast one and then one for slow. Huh? No, no, not yet. Just let that happen, JT. All right. It sounds like everyone is ready. Do I have a volunteer to go first? All right. So if everyone can look over to this group, I'll play an eight count. Is there a preference on it if you want fast or slow first? Fast first? All right. Does everyone, guys, thank you. All right. You guys ready?
All right. Good job, guys. Here we go. Good job, guys. I'll play the triangle for y'all. Oh, all right. All right. All right, is everyone paying attention? All right, y'all got the floor. Nice. You can just leave it on the ground. Gents, does one of you want to play the Moroccans or you don't want me to? Matt, you want to? All right, let's listen. All right, good job, guys. I'm going to give each – you're going to rotate. So triangle, you're going to the maracas, maracas to the tambourine, tambourine to the triangle. You guys are going to have a minute to come up with a new dance routine for strong and lights. All right, your time starts now. <clears throat> Thirty seconds. All right. Does everyone know what they're doing in their group? Jens, are you ready? No? You guys need more time? Okay, 30 more seconds. You guys are up. All right, is everyone ready? You guys have enough time? Yeah. Yep. yeah. I'm going to have you guys go first for me. All right, so can everyone pay attention? Nice job, guys. Gents, would you like to go next? Yeah. When you're ready, you guys can start. Nice. All right, and ladies.
nice. If y'all could come over to me and have a seat, could you also bring the triangle and maracas with you for me? You can just leave that there, Matt. Thank you. Have a seat. Have a seat for me. All right. What do you think the oh, my goal was for y'all to learn out of this 30-minute teach here? You guys can just shout it, shout it out. Fast and slow movements, yeah. that's Robbie hit it right on the nail. I wanted y'all to be able to differentiate between moving fast and moving slow, whether that was with a beat or if that's during our uh, beginning activity where we're just learning to the beat and moving fast and slow and not doing any creative dance or anything, okay? So thank you guys. Next week we'll be doing another dance routine or whatnot, but for that, have, enjoy the rest of your day.